and welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. My name is Monica and here on my channel we talk about decorating, keeping your home, um, seasonal decor, regular home decor, design ideas, room transformations, uh, organizing, basically everything to take care of your home and to create that heart and soul. You know, your home is your heart and soul of the family. And so that is my goal on this channel is to help you create that home. In today's video, we are taking, every, we're talking everything fall and all the ideas and the fall decor and some of the items that I picked up and my plants. I want to kind of talk you through how I plan out a season um, and its decor. So let's get in it and let's get started. Okay, a couple weeks back I did a shop with me video at Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and Kirkland's. Uh, right after that video, uh, we had a family emergency. We had uh, my daughter-in-law, um, thankfully she is good. God is good, right? And thankfully she is, is good and fine. Um, I think it's okay for, I, I think she's okay with me saying she had a mass removed off of her brain, um, but she is doing good. Um, she's doing great, but you know, I had filmed that and then right after this all came about and it was just craziness and I never kind of did a uh, a haul or what I purchased you know what I mean and kind of what my plans were for fall and what I why I purchased what I purchased and all that kind of stuff so I wanted to go ahead and get in and do that today um, I've got all my bins brought in and that's kind of what I want to how I want to show you is how I get ready ready for a season. You know, the bins come in, the plans go out, I do a shop, I, feed, I see what's out there, and I get kind of an inspiration. And majority of what I use, I reuse every year. It's just I might implement it in different spaces. So I don't go out and buy all new things every year because that's what my whim said and I, I wanna do this. There's a few pieces that I will buy, um, maybe, sometimes not, but that I, I see that could be used in multiple different areas, inside, outside, all that kind of stuff that will help create that look that I want. And then next year I may decide to put it somewhere else. So that's what I encourage you to do is when you're purchasing stuff for your home, and that's for seasonal decor and that's for everyday decor, um, you know, and, and outside decor, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? If you can move, shop your home and move that stuff around, you know what I mean? You're not rebuying stuff all the time and you're using what you have and it works, right? So, um, and if you liked it in one part of your home, you're probably gonna like it in another part. You know, you, you wanna have that, that kind of decor that you can move and that, you know, just goes and flows around your home. So, the first thing, you know, we went to um, Home Goods. That was the first stop. And this piece just set the tone. It just completely, I walked up, I saw it, and I was like, that's the theme. I mean, there you go. It just, it just, you know, spoke to me. And that is this piece right here. I will get a close up on it and everything for you. But I walked in. And I saw this and it was like, that's the theme. Vermont, you know, in the fall with all the different, you know, colors and the changes of the leaves and all that kind of stuff. So that is kind of what I am going for and working on. And probably it would be the entryway and into the family room and probably in the, um, the front porch kind of because I try to like set that tone as you're coming in the house in the front entry you know it will be kind of florally and and just you know what I mean those bright beautiful vibrant colors you know and just traditional um type of colors and in the entry and then into the the family room we will take that that um the bulk of of this kind this will be in the family room so in that, I was like, okay, so that's gonna mean I'm gonna have heavy florals, you know, um, in the the front the front porch, the for you know, as you're coming in the house, I'll have them 
in the entry i'll have a really big time in the family room because it's, we want to make that vermont you know um the leaves and the florals and all the beautiful colors of of the changing seasons so i knew i needed to up my game in uh florals so this and florals is primarily what i bought i've got the pumpkins i've got different florals that i can use i've got different wheats or different you know textural pieces that i can use you know what i mean in, in just a different way um so that is kind of the basis this this just spoke to me and that is exactly what came to me was we're due in vermont in september and <laughs> october and um i think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous so um a, along with that that'll be a lot of the traditional colors but nature a lot of florals a lot of um dried florals um the traditional pumpkins you know what i mean and um the greens the the oranges the 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 browns just those kind of you know um feelings so um i'm super excited i think this is just gonna be so gorgeous i can't wait um but so this is what excuse me what kind of started it and so that was super exciting and again i will give you a full close-up on this so you can you know really see um price wise this this was 80 dollars um i think it was 25 percent off not a huge discount but again this is a piece i can use on the front porch in the dining room in the family room in the entry on the back porch you know back porch i could use this anywhere and i completely see this as being a piece that i just have for years and years and years so okay so again on this whole floral so then i went to hobby lobby and just picked up beautiful different you can kind of have that focus right there and just you know just beautiful beautiful just different texture um different beautiful colors with the orange and the and the green and just how it's it's like it's changing colors you know what i mean right in front of you i loved these um i got multiples of those these were i thought they're kind of hard because they get stuck on everything but i just loved these you know it just looks like a dogwood or something like that i just thought those were gorgeous so i've got a couple of those stems and then just some beautiful burgundy and yellow that mustardy yellow this is more of a uh you know like a dried it's just they're just gorgeous love those colors um i got a couple of these for the for the back door for the inside i thought that would be gorgeous little little rings on there um a lot i got a lot of these you know different stems so those are similar um these pumpkins i though these were from kirkland's but they're just real soft they're fuzzy and i thought i've got like a bowl that i put on my coffee table so i thought this would be kind of a beautiful you know coloring i also picked up from hobby lobby these little um leather pumpkins i thought those were really really cute and could you know possibly go in with this um and then for my mantle i've got a beautiful uh magnolia garland and i'm planning on putting two together to bulk it up you know and to make it a bigger uh, more of a statement piece on on my mantle but i also wanted so that's a darker green with brown it'll be really pretty but then i thought for texture i'm just going to stick in you know the the leaves the different colors the different textures the bright orange isn't that gorgeous some of the cream and just kind of create you know this beautiful um garland out of out of what i have um i also picked up these dried i thought these were gorgeous too 
at Hobby Lobby. So those will be great. Um, just giving all the vibes, right? All the vibes. When I was at um, Kirkland, I came across these. These are very, very heavy. But they're these big, like milk jugs, and they've got this nice texture uh, handle. These I'm gonna have up on my entertainment center uh, in the family room all year round, except for, you know, like Christmas, because I do a whole big scene up there. But every, all year round, I'm just gonna change florals. So this is like a piece that is gonna be used, I mean, say 10 months out of the year for every single occasion or whatever. And I just love these. They were 40% off at Kirkland. So I basically got two, I got two of them because I, I have two ends, um, two of them for the price of one, uh, a little bit off. But I mean, this is a very heavy, very sturdy. So a lot of these florals that I just showed you, I'm gonna have, you know what I mean, up on the entertainment center. I'm, I'm picturing maybe some, some hay bales, you know, up there and some, uh, you know, a few pumpkins, just, it's gonna be gorgeous. But this is something that you can do. Maybe you don't have room for two or, you know what I mean? But you could get something like this and then just big florals. And that's very fallish, it looks good, put a couple pumpkins on the bottom and call it a day. It's still beautiful, but it's not as much. You know, for for the Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas, I go way out, you know, and Easter. Um, but this is a kind of a, 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 a decor piece that can last forever and get so much use out of. So this was a great find. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, my mom was with me. I said, that is so great. And then I saw that it was 40% off and I was ecstatic. So that is going to be up in the in the family room that's gonna help us create this whole, you know, Vermont look. Then also at Home Goods, my mom found this and she absolutely adored it. And I I kind of wanted to break off the fam or the I'm sorry, the dining room to be a little bit different. And I think we're going to achieve that and i think i'm going to use a lot of creams a lot of wheat that kind of thing but we also found this and absolutely loved it this was 24.99 and i think it was like 25 percent off but it's got the pinks you know the beautiful um i've got you know more of this kind of stuff i can do a really pretty um uh, centerpiece, you know, tablescape with it. But I think what I'm gonna do in this room right here is just keep it more creams, neutrals, uh, the roses, the the pink. I found this beautiful little, it's kind of like a sweater blanket, beautiful mauve pink. pink. Um, and I, I think I've got some, um, I know I've got some um, kind of like uh, burgundy, pumpkins and stuff like that. So that's gonna go in here. So it will blend with the entryway, which is, you know, a part of this, it's open. It'll blend, but it will be a little bit different. And depending on how much of the pinks and the, that kind of stuff I have, I might take that right here into the bar area. But then everything else will be the gorgeous, you know, coloring, you know, leaves changing, Vermont, beautiful um, accent. So that is pretty much, well, oh, I did get a couple of new pillows. Let me show you these. These will be for the couch in the um, family room. And I just really loved, I mean, they're choppable. It's a great pillow. Um, one will go on, this will probably go on the big couch. And then this one to coordinate with, you know, just that whole, you know, the vibes of the pumpkins and the, the, you know, the beautiful muted colors and the, the natural and the, um, the all the florals and the leaves and stuff, I think it'll be gorgeous in there. So um, along with everything else I have, and I don't think I'm gonna need anything else to create this because I have, and I'll show you the totes, how it comes in and everything. I think 
think my biggest thing that I needed was my one inspiration piece. And I do have another. You'll see that when we set up the family room. I have a lighted. It's more of a orange, a yellow orange. Um, and it's smaller than this, but it's it's more of that. And I don't know if that will go like in the entry or that will go in the family room, you know, by this. But I do have one more tree that I got off of Amazon. And um, I'm just super excited. I mean, I think, again, you can create, once you have that vision and once you have that, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Once you have the idea, you can create. You can take pumpkins that you had and you want another color, paint them a color, you know, spray paint them. You, um, you know, like I just wanted to, now I go on a bigger scale, so, you know, yeah, I needed more floral and you'll see I have a lot of floral already. But, you know, this is stuff I can use every year and I have big open spaces that I need big florals, that kind of stuff. You may not, so you don't need to have that much. But you can just pick, use what you have, but use it in different areas of your home and just let it, let it flow. Um, I think that's my biggest tip. You don't have to go out and buy all new stuff every year. It's fun to go out and shop, but maybe you pick up a couple pieces every year. And that's kind of what I do. I mean, I do pick up, you know, pieces every year. Um, not so much because I have to have them, more so because it's just going along with what I'd like to do. But um, I know that I could create something gorgeous with what I already had, but this was just, I, I couldn't pass it up. And I just, with knowing that I'm gonna go with this, I had to get more floral, it's a whole thing. But um, what I wanna tell you guys is you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money every year. But it might be fun, like I tell my daughter and my daughter-in-law, you know, pick up a couple pieces every year that you love. It's not trendy, you know, all that kind of stuff, but it's stuff that you like and that you'll just continue to, to use year after year and it can be added to whatever. So. That's my advice, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take you and show you up close all the different stuff I've got and how I bring in my bins and we get started and then how I work off of, of, of my bins and kind of separate them by um, maybe room. And this year, I don't know if I'll be doing that. I think I'm just gonna work out on my bins and have them open and just, you know, the coloring and what I see, I pick I, and, I, and I decorate with. So let me show you everything up close. Okay, so this is kind of what I do. Here's our new focal, focal piece. And I just wanted to give you, it comes with that burlap sack around. So it's, it's ready to go, ready to, ugh, it's just so gorgeous. Okay, and there's the new pillows. So I have all of my bins here that are, this is mostly outside, kind of blankets, um, pillow covers, that kind of stuff. So I'll pull from there. Then I've got this bin that's got some, you know, natural stuff and uh, some white pumpkins, some towels, that kind of thing. So I know how to pull from there. Okay, and so then I've got this one that's got some of the whites, some of the, I've got some navy, so that might be kind of fun somewhere to do a little navy and, and cheetah kind of look. Um, here's more of my traditional, so I can pull from here, look at those beautiful colors, it will go absolutely perfectly. I've got, um, you know, some great pumpkins, some different texture, so that will be perfect absolutely perfect in there um, and then let's go right over here again I've got all the natural colors that will go just perfectly I've got some of that you know deep burgundy brown I mean it's just gonna be I can't wait it's gonna be so gorgeous so again I'm not so much into the black and white so I might just put that aside or see if one of my kids wants it um, but these organically green ones, you know, they're kind of like, I think they're more, um, I guess I have a gourd too like that, but 
I mean, just kind of fun. That's all natural. Um, over here, I just have bins and bins and bins of all different stuff. And I just feel like I can create the most gorgeous, you know, stuff around in here. I've got my hay bales that I'm looking for. These are just different pillows that I, I think I will use them up here because, and then here we've got that mauve and the blue. So that'll be perfect. Um, these I've used indoor and outdoor. Oh yeah, there's two of the same ones. And there's just some gorgeous, I mean, there's just so much. I'm just gonna deck this place out. This is more of my outside stuff, outside blankets and the pillows, little scarecrows. I kind of usually do like a little setup with um, hay bales and stuff, so that'll be great. And then this is all a whole bin of florals. So I've got a great start to the theme um, that I already have that this can work inside, outside. It's just gorgeous. Look at these. Aren't those a beautiful color? So I'm super excited to get going on this and then let me show you the new stuff I've got. So then here is all of the beautiful florals that I just showed you, but the coloring is just so amazing. I just love these mustard color ones and the green with the yellow and then the burgundy over here. Oh, it's gonna be fabulous. And up close, here are these jugs from Kirkland. They did have smaller sizes. Oh, it's not wanting to focus, there we go. So those are them. I showed you the pillows already. Um, and then here is that cute little sweater pumpkin and my centerpiece. I think that's going to be so pretty. And then these gorgeous, you know, I could even add this into with the pink and even these just to bring some depth. But I think I'm going to try just more creams and the pinks and the uh, maroons. And I don't know. I just, I don't know. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. I've got a lot of muted orange that I think I could bring in here. I've got fall signs. This is a Kirkland, it's an orange, and then a big wreath. I've got more wheat wreaths outside. Um, but this is how I do it. I just kind of open up my bins. Sometimes I fill this whole table up, but you know what? I think there's too much, and sometimes that just gets a little overwhelming for me. So I think just having these open bins that I can just pull from, it gets a little, it gets a little messy. Um, it takes me about a week. And uh, it, it is messy, but I just know, it's kind of like organizing and decluttering. You know that there's an end in sight. You know it'll get better, but it does get worse before it gets better. But uh, it, it, I, I, think it'll, I think it'll be great. And then there's our showstopper. Oh, I can't wait to decorate with you guys and show you how this all turns out. But this is, this is our fall 2022. 2020, huh? 2022. <laughs> this is our design and what we're going with. Now we just got to get rid of all the lemon stuff and the spring and summer stuff and get on our way. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I know this wasn't a very long video, but it really didn't need to be. I just wanted to kind of share with you my vision and what I've got planned and uh, then I'll take you along as I do it and as we create it. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I would love for you to join this community. I just wanna build a wonderful community where we can all share ideas and inspiration with each other, uh, and that's my whole goal, is to motivate and inspire you, and I think everybody together has wonderful ideas. So please make sure that you, sub sub <laughs> please make sure that you subscribe, and that you turn your notification bell, uh, the ringer on, so you know I'm notified or you're notified every time I upload. Um, share it out to a friend if you, you know, if you think somebody else could use this. I would greatly appreciate that. Helps my channel so much. And comment below. What is your plans for for fall? How are you decorating? Do you decorate? 
Uh, and when do you decorate? Of course, I'm doing it earlier than probably most, but I'm doing it just to kind of give you all an inspiration and a motivation and maybe some ideas. But tell me down below, when do you decorate and, and do you decorate? So I hope you enjoyed, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.